So back when I started growing mushrooms, there was only DIY versions of a still air box available on the shroomery or other forums. So today there's a bunch of products flooding the markets on Amazon and other consumer outlets that are designed for growing mushrooms. So how do you know if it's a good product or not? What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. Today, I'm gonna to be unboxing a $30 still air box. If you're interested in the link for this still air box, it's gonna be posted below the video. I've never looked at this. They're not a sponsor for this video, but I'm just gonna open this up and kind of describe my thoughts and feelings about why this would work or doesn't work and also kind of just cover the basics, um, the basic anatomy of a still air box. So the principle of a still air box is that it protects the product that is inside that still, still air box from outside contaminants, as opposed to a flow hood, which is constantly filtering air and protecting your workspace a still air box simply makes all the, the air inside of that volume void from other currents or different convections that could happen in the workspace. Now that's important when you're growing mushrooms because it enhances your aseptic technique by making the environment predictable for contamination. So if you did not have a still air box and you were performing your procedures, there's a risk that outside influences could cause contamination to enter your system. If you're using a still air box, however, you can guarantee that your workspace is clean, at least from outside factors. So what it does is it narrows down the susceptibility of contamination to the user. So if there's any contamination and you're using a still air box, then you know that it's your fault. Okay, so that covers the still air box basics. So now we can dive into this box. So like I said before, I've never used this. I'm just gonna give my real time feedback. So the first thing I notice as we open this box is that there's some roadside assistant gloves that I definitely would not use these for mushroom farming unless you're uh, moving some heavy equipment or something. So ideally, this would come with some kind of a latex glove or a latex free glove that you could sterilize. So I would say the biggest reason why I wouldn't use these is because they're going to harbor contaminants inside of this fabric. So I would say strike one. <laughs> so as I'm diving into this box, I noticed that they have some of these nice uh, spray bottles here. The fact that there's two of these spray bottles, um, I don't know why you would need two unless maybe they're just not good quality and they expect one of them to break. But um, this is a cool feature of this kit. I'm not trying to harp on it without using these, but essentially one of these I would fill with isopropyl and then the other one I would just keep on hand in case this one breaks or, um, you know, maybe you want a free plant mister or something. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, um, we've got our two spray bottles next as we unbox this. Now these, um, look to be the scaffolding that's gonna create the body of our still air box. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. So I'd notice that they're a nice uh, firm plastic, which is good because that means that they're going to be easy to sterilize. Good job on them for ch choosing this plastic. These look like the, um, the scaffolding, the little pieces that you'll be able to build your structure with. Um, and then we've got some more like middle connectors, I guess. And then lastly, we have a digital thermometer. So this is gonna be useful 
just to monitor the temperature of your environment, wherever you plan to have the still air box. Um, it's not super important when you're doing your processing, but it might give you a good idea of um, the room conditions that you're gonna be growing your mushrooms in. So not necessary for the still air box, but still kind of a cool add on. Okay, so I'll go ahead and build this box um, before I open up the, uh, you know, the heart and soul of this grow kit, which is the tent that goes around there. Five minutes later. All right, so looking at this product, uh, we have it fully assembled. I'm pretty impressed with the casing of the still air box. It's pretty thick plastic and you can definitely see through it very well. Um, I noticed that this front entryway is nice. So you can unzip that and then you'll be able to put all of your uh, materials that you're, you, that you're working with very easily and then spray out the inside and then by closing the zipper, you're kind of closing the environment. But on top of that, it has these extra zippers where um, you'd be working through like a glove box. So it definitely is pretty ergonomical, um, especially at this height, it feels very natural. Uh, I noticed that there's these little zip ties here, which I don't think is a huge deal, but if you wanted that extra layer of protection, you could kind of put your arms in there and uh, I guess pull with your teeth once the other one is uh, in place. But um, that adds an extra level of um, protection from the air deviation. So I also noticed there's these side vents, um, which Maybe these side vents are to prevent condensation if you're working with hydrated bulk substrate or something that is very high moisture content to keep the sides from fogging up. Um, otherwise, I don't really know what these side vents are for besides uh, humidity control. So on the back side, it's one solid piece. Um, it didn't take that long to put together, maybe it was what, five minutes with two people helping. So overall, I think the quality of this, uh, I'm very surprised by. Um, and then I guess the biggest test would be how it holds up over time, but it's just plastic. There wasn't a whole lot of investment. So I give this product two thumbs up. Um, and then I guess the, uh, the next test would be if it would fit a full monotub or whatever you're trying to work with the uh, height wise, there might be a little bit of a constraint for working with grow bags. But overall, this is a really nice high quality still air box. And for the money, I think it's, uh, it's definitely a winner.